That cute little pudgy Prince George better watch his back. There's a new royal baby on the way to steal his spotlight, if not push him off the throne. The proud papa-to-be, otherwise known as the Duke of Cambridge, announcing Kate's pregnancy today. So who's most excited about the expanding royal family? Tonight, Prince Harry reacts. But what he has to say just may surprise you. Here's ABC's Bob Woodruff. Feels like just yesterday, proud parents Will and Kate were presenting their baby George to the world, but that was a little more than a year ago, and now they're ready for more. Today, the royal couple announcing baby number two is on the way. We're immensely thrilled. It's great news. But the news of Kate's pregnancy broke a bit early for the royal couple, and here's why. They were due to travel today, but Kate couldn't make the trip because of a condition called hyperemesis gravidarum. To talk about hyperemesis or HG, you're talking about intractable vomiting that occurs sometimes more than once an hour for days, weeks, or months. So word of her pregnancy so became headline news. All big royal breaking news this morning. William and Kate announced they are in fact expecting their second child. Kate is nearly 12 weeks pregnant and is being treated at Kensington Palace, not in a hospital. She's feeling okay, thanks. It's, um, it's, been, uh, it's been a tricky few days, a uh, week or so, um, early days, but I'm hoping we just things settle down and she feels a bit better. This is the same condition that landed Kate in the hospital during her first pregnancy. I think it's really important not to refer to this as severe morning sickness. This is not something that makes a pregnant woman a little queasy and can be cured with a saltine cracker and some ginger ale. This is something that, when it occurs, in some cases requires hospitalization. Because of her condition, the palace says it will evaluate Kate's engagements from now on, case by case. The news was greeted with glee in London. The queen and members of both families said to be thrilled with the news. Yeah, it's um, very exciting news. British Prime Minister David Cameron tweeted, I'm delighted by the happy news that they're expecting another baby. Ever since the dust settled on pregnancy and baby number one, people have of course naturally been saying, when are they going to have baby number two? Um, and now we know, baby number two is on its way. The whole world followed that first pregnancy, marveling over her stylish maternity wear, people rushing to copy her outfits, what some call replicating. And Prince George, only a year old and already a junior style icon with a following of his own, including an entire website called Prince George Pieces dedicated to the prince's outfits and toys. British designers like Rachel Riley have seen an increase in sales thanks to Kate's clothing choices for her son. As for the name George, the royal birth helped propel it into the top 10 baby names in the UK. As the world mimics the royal family, they are adapting to modern parenting. Yeah, it's very emotional and it's such a special time. I think any, any parent, I think, will probably sort of um, know what this feeling feels like. So it's very special. Really Prince William talked about his first few months as a father to CNN last year. He's a, he's a little bit of a rascal, let's put it that way. So he either reminds me of my brother or me when I was younger, I'm not sure. He's growing quite quickly, actually, but he's a little fighter. He kind of um, he wriggles around quite a lot, and he doesn't want to go to sleep that much, which is a little bit of a problem. And what about Uncle Harry? This was to be a big week for the prince, Harry turning 30. But now he will be the fifth in line to the throne. I mean, historically, the birth of uh, this little baby, whether it's a boy or a girl, is important because it knocks Prince Harry down the pecking order one more place. This child, whether it's a boy or a girl, will be fourth in line to the throne after Prince Charles. With that growing family, your prospects of becoming king reduced, don't they? <laughs> Great. <laughs> he shared his excitement about the announcement with typical Harry humor. I can't wait to see my brother suffer more. Um, and with any luck, if it's a girl, then he'll suffer even, even greater, I think. I'd love to see him try and cope with that. But, um, yeah, in all seriousness, I hope you know, my sister-in-law gets better, gets better soon and you know, the, the two of them have the opportunity to, you know, I suppose, go through the whole thing, the whole process again in, in a little bit of peace and quiet. <laughs> Further from the throne, but never far from the spotlight. A new documentary released just last week, Harry at 30, shows how he has carved out his own role. I'm here to merely bring awareness to the problems, to carry on my mother's legacy. As with George, royal watchers all over the world are anxiously anticipating the birth. I think they're always going to try to have a big-ish family. Kate comes from 
you know, a, a big-ish family. So I think that they want more than, certainly want more than one child. There'll be a lot of bets now. What is it, a boy, is it a girl? Maybe a girl would be great if she's buying stuff for, in pink because then they'll have the complete set. So that would be perfect, which William and Kate seem to get things right. So I'm sure that would be the case. Bookmakers once again placing bets on a name. Their money is on Elizabeth or Victoria for a girl, and if a boy, Henry. It's anyone's bet that the wait for royal baby number two will generate the kind of hysteria outside the hospital that preceded George's arrival. Expected around April, that will make George and his younger sibling about two years apart, around the same age gap as Prince William and Harry. They will grow up together, they will possibly have the same friends, they will be able to go through their milestones in life at a similar time, and they will really be able to be each other's closest confidant and biggest ally. For Nightline, I'm Bob Woodruff in London.